headed to my physical therapy appointment. Um, I've got a really, really bad headache today, but I wanted to go ahead and take care of it because I've got to start my physical therapy soon. Um, I'm still having a little bit of problem lifting my left hand all the way up. I could lift it forward, sideways, you know, circle, whatever the case is, but I can't lift it all the way up. So, um, I already saw the physical therapy once for my hips, and he's been working with me, but I had to stop um, because my insurance started over, and I had met my deductible, and I don't have all that money to give to the physical therapist because um, I wasn't even really working like that and my check wasn't ever really that great. So I'm headed back down because I met my deductible for the year. So I scheduled an appointment uh, for last Wednesday actually and I couldn't make it. So I rescheduled for today. So I'm headed there. I'm really not feeling great. Um, my back is hurting me. Like my hips is hurting me and I have this headache. Um, I'm dealing with so I literally been laying in the bed all day um, my girlfriend wanted me to help her to watch her son and when she texts me this morning and says she no longer needed help I was super excited about it um, because I really didn't feel like it I was tired um, my body was like hella achy like I just I really didn't want to deal with anybody and everybody's at home today um, so I just basically like stayed in the room in the bed. I was a little bit antisocial. So, um, but now I got up, thank God, and I'm gonna meet this physical therapy appointment. And I'm going to make sure that I take better care of myself. Um, and I do, you know, what's needed. Um, because I heard some news about, you know, the person I call my godmother today. Um, that she's not doing well at all. I mean, she's up and, you know, focusing, but she still can't get any treatment for the cancer because of all the pain with the sickle cell. Um, so right now, we're just praying to God and, you know, hoping for the best. And, you know, we just keep praying. You know, doctors have their opinion of what's going to happen to you, but God has the final say. And, you know, if God calls her home, then that's because God calls her home, not because, you know, something else happened or someone else feels like she didn't need to be here. Um, so, you know, just going through that and praying to God that, you know, he keeps her out of that. And, you know, just trying to, like, not really handicap myself and try to get up and get out um, and do things. So, I'm just praying to God and, you know, I hope everybody else is praying. And, you know, you never really know with life. You know, a lot of people say dealing with sickle cell. Oh, when you deal with sickle cell, it's like so much. You know, you don't be wanting to do nothing. I get that. But you have to be the one to get up to fight. You got to fight for your life. You got to fight for the things that you want. You always got to get up and fight. You know, yes, you have sickle cell. What if it's something worse? What if it's like cancer, you know? Or, or what if it's, you know, multiple sclerosis or whatever it is? What if you can never get up and walk and, you know, speak to your family or anything like that? So, as I always say, be grateful for your situation because things could be a lot worse you know there's some people that never left the hospital since they were born they literally live in the hospital you know we have a family friend that's currently going through um, cancer and you know you just see like how his life just deteriorate you know but he's doing great like he's he's you know he's very optimistic about life you know he, he's a young man but you know he's, he's a hero to me because of the way that he handles it and he deals with the things you know that he goes through so you know i'm gonna end this by saying you know be always grateful to god for what your situation is because situations could be a lot worse so as i say i am grateful for my little sickle cell because it could be something else so hello again um I just left my physical therapy appointment and it went well it went really good like I noticed that I can um, my arm is a little bit more flexible to move but first you know I saw this physical therapy uh, four months ago 
and as I said earlier in my video I stopped seeing him because I hadn't met my deductible and I was not about to pay hundreds of dollars for physical therapy even though I need it I can't afford it so I had to wait um, until the next time um, that I met my deductible and I can go and see him for free so when I saw him today he did some exercises with my hips and he noticed that they gotten better and he asked me if I've been doing my exercises um, at home as he gave to me and I said yeah absolutely and you know he said to me he's like I can tell because your hips is a little bit better um, you're moving it a little bit better he says that's still a little weak though but he said that you know at least it looks better I've gotten you know some strength back in that leg in that right hips so but he didn't notice that both of my hips were a little bit weak so he gave me some exercises that I can do from home um, and then as far as my arm, you know, he gave me some stuff that I can do from home and he said that, you know, to come every week so that we can keep exercising. And then he said, sorry, my phone cut off, so there's going to be two parts to it. Um, so, you know, I told him that, you know, um, my hips have gotten better with the ex. um, excuse me, my shoulder has gotten better with the exercise that, um, the physical therapist at the, um, hospital gave to me. So I've been doing that exercise and it makes me a little, you know, makes me feel a little bit better. And excuse the sun is shining in the car and it's just making me look like an angel which I am so anywho so he was saying that have I thought about pool you know he did pool therapy and I said you know I told you that that's what my doctor suggested but y'all don't have any indoor heated pool so I haven't done any pool therapy so he looked it up and he said Lennox Baker um, has pool therapy that I should see my hematologist will refer me over there because they will listen to doctors better than they will listen to a physical therapist so I said okay I'll reach out to my doctor and do that but you know he put me through some exercises which like made my arm really sore and like forget the pain it's sore so um you know we did some exercises and now i'm on my way home and you know i was just sitting here thinking about how you know he said that i needed heated pool therapy and he asked me was i still working out and i said well not right now i can't because of everything going on with my illness and you know all the soreness in my arm and my hips and then i thought to myself you know that's just an excuse like I have never let any illness stop me from anything that I'm trying to do. So why would I let, you know, the sickle cell stop me from going to the gym and looking great? Like, I've always looked great and healthy about myself. You know, like, now I'm still healthy, but, like, the bellies are starting to grow. And, look, I'm starting to miss my neck and stuff like that. So I need to get my butt to the gym and do some workout and i'm also gonna speak on the whole um like i guess being dolled up when you're going out to certain places like i was going to physical therapy appointment today and there were several ladies in there with you know exercise clothes like their sweatpants or their tights or whatever the case is their yoga pants and their you know just t-shirt and their face looking like they're about to go to the club to hang out but as you can see i don't wear makeup unless i'm going to somebody's wedding or party or something because i feel like it's a waste of my time to go to work or going to the gym or going to physical therapy or going to a doctor's appointment and put all this makeup on and all that other stuff like i'm not with that i don't wear makeup like that i am natural if i want to go out the house with my scarf on i will i don't really try to impress nobody i don't give a flying but what anybody says about me my look my whatever i don't care i am me i'm going to live my life Whoever don't like it can jump in traffic and kick rocks. I don't have time for it. So, um, my YouTube channels, my documentary, my videos, everything about me, you're going to see that most of them is just me being me. Some videos I'll do waking up right out of bed. Some videos I'll do, 
you know, just hanging around the house. Some videos I do in the park, but you can see that most of them would not have makeup um, or anything because I feel like I am beautiful as I am. I don't need makeup to change me into somebody that I'm not. I see all these people that put makeup on and you be like, is that that person? No, it's not, is it? You know, they be putting on makeup to make themselves look like somebody that they're not. Like, and I feel like this world is so vain about that right now. Like with society, with community, with the world, the way it's set up right now is you're not going, you know, people talking about other people. You're not going to be put on a blog or famous if you don't do certain things, if you don't put makeup on, if you don't wear certain outfits, if you don't carry certain bags. Like, why? You know, whenever we all die, nobody's taking anything with them. And when your soul, your body, your whatever comes, you know, your soul comes out of your body, it does not come out with full makeup face on, even though you currently have full makeup on, you know, in your body. Like, your body's a, you know, it's just a body. Like, I, I see all these people doing, you know, liposuctions and all this other stuff, trying to be somebody that they're not. But really, if you die, I'm trying to figure out, like, when your soul lives, does it live with that new body that you paid for? Or, like, I'm, I'm really confused. Like, I, I, you know, I'm not a pastor. And, you know, I go to church, but I ain't gonna say that I'm a, you know, perfect Christian or nothing. But I'm just still, like, trying to figure out, like, when you die, like, do you die? The, like, when your soul goes to heaven or wherever it's going to, does it go full makeup outfit like does it go the way that you die like you know i'm does your body you know look the same when your soul is going out or does everything just stay left in, in the body that you leave behind you know so i'm i'm really curious i'm just thinking but you know i can't ask nobody but god only god has the answer to that because people that had died can't come back and tell you that you know oh their body was was returned back uh, the way it is, or you know, they, they can't nobody tell you no story once they did, unless you die too, and you both in heaven, but then you can't come back and tell us what's going on. So, you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm a true believer in spirits. Like, I believe that you know, sometimes when people die, their spirits are still around and you know, doing certain things, but the spirit don't tell you if they die you know if their body still look the same up in heaven or or is it the original body that god gave you that you go to heaven with or do you go to heaven with the liposuction body and the big titties and the change in your sex bodies and all that like seriously you know like be, transgenders when they die and they're good people and they do go to heaven because a sin is a sin do they go with their girl part or do they go with the boy part i'm confused i wish somebody would try to help me out with this so uh, i want to know what y'all think like do you go to heaven with your women part or your boy part if you're transgender and people that are not transgender they have had lipos big titties done and and their face reconstructed do they go to heaven with the new face and the new body or do they go with the one god gave them Hmm, interesting. But, anywho, I'm done with this conversation right now. I guess we'll talk about some more things later. Cause I don't know. I don't know. But somebody tell me. I I'm a little confused. But, God, you know, I know that you do communicate with us, but you are not about the nonsense and the shenanigans. So, I know you ain't going to answer my question to this because you ain't got time for all that. You got time for real prayers and real things that's going on. So, you know, I'm just trying to see what other people's inputs are on that. Like, when you die, do you go with your boy part or your girl part? Or do you go with that new titties you bought and that new face you bought and all that makeup caked on your face? And that body that looks banging, but you paid for it, do you go with that? Or do you go with what God originally gave you? Let me know what your thoughts are below. Thank you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Question. When you are on earth, you know, because we all come from God for the believers. When you are on earth and you get all these things done to yourself, like you get new boobies, you get new face, you get new hair attachments, you know, you get whatever. 
to done to your body to make it, you know, what people are looking for in the world or whatever. Mm-hmm. When you die, do that body go with you? Like, no. when you go to heaven, do you go in the form of no. your new body, or do you no. go in the form of the old body God gave you? The body that you have. Okay. So yeah, when you when you die, you don't take that body and that boobies. <laughs> the I don't weed. Think, I don't think Tupac you don't take all that diamond. with you. Tupac ain't tripping. Oh, because I was tripping in gold. On my way home, I was doing a video, and you know, I saw somebody. You know, a lot of people in the physical therapy that look like oh, yeah, they're going to the club. You know, and I was just sitting here thinking in my head, like, do people go to heaven or hell with those new bodies, or do they go with the old one guy gave them? I think it's just like, I think it's an accessory. I think it's just like, do we go with earrings? You know right. What Will you need it's glasses? Like, right. I don't think so. No. Right. Okay. okay. That's so what I was thinking. Want? Because I was like, you get the bodies just for you Earth. Get like, your teeth back if you need it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. So, then you it have makes it. Sense to me. Damn, Simba, stop fucking up the world. No, I mean, I'm just saying. I was just thinking about it because so many people are spending thousands of dollars on, you know, new earpiece or new body or whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm no, just thinking. No, I'm a deep. philosopher no, and I was, was just thinking. That's what I'm saying. That was deep. Yeah, I was just sitting here thinking. You should tell more people that shit. Like, what? that shit. We ain't going to heaven with that, that shit. I mean, I'm just thinking and I thought about it like. You Even if you go to hell, you, you ain't going to hell with You ain't going to hell with that. I've always heard people say you ain't going to need them glasses no more. You ain't going to need that can. I've never heard nobody say you ain't going to need that body. You ain't going to need that body. Right. You ain't going to need that body. Heaven. I'm just saying, like, like it's the truth. That's what, yeah. Simba, that's what I said. You are not gonna Word need your up. body in You're heaven, people. One. Hey man, you better hurry up, man. You messing up them shoes. You making me mad. Though, there man. you have I it. Your nice, new body bro. does not go with you to heaven or hell. It stays right here on earth. Okay, so think about that before you start spending all the money money you have on this new excuse me money you have on this new body boobs but implants and everything else. I, don't, I believe in maintenance, not for. Yeah. Did I put it on camera? I don't like that. I don't like that. Where is the book? Right. If we do it, I dare come to our house. I dare you come to our house. So. If if he if he give us one hundred million subscribers, we're gonna show our face. And today you subscribe.